Welcome back guys to the Android card view and recycler view tutorial. Now in this video I am gonna apply Android animation for our recycler view items. So let me show you the codes inside the Android studio. Now guys what I mean by animation is when we are going to scroll this recycler view then it is going to show some animation. So for that purpose what do we need? We actually need the item of each position and we are going to pass that position to our animation util class. Now this animation util class guys I have created inside my main package. This is my animation util class and here I have written one method. This is my class animation util and this is my static method animate and this is having the view holder class that we have created inside our custom adapter and also it is having some boolean value as a parameter. Now what do it shows? Goes down boolean value will help us to know whether we are going down or we are going up. If we are going down then it is true else it is false. So accordingly our animation will be applied. Pretty simple. Now this bunch of code guys I will just explain you. Before this let me go to mycustomadapter.java and write some logical approach. As I told you what do we need? We actually need the position. So for that let us define int previous position and initially let it be 0 because every time we will start our application the position will be 0. Fine. So the previous position at minimal should be 0. Clear? Now guys this method on bind view holder method as I already told you this method is called whenever each row is created or you can say each item is created. Suppose this cat1 is getting created so for this cat1 this on bind view holder is called. Now again if cat2 is created then now again this method is called. So similarly we are setting the text view and image view and all these things we have discussed in the previous video. So this is our most favorable method where we can implement our logic to get the current position and the previous position. So what we are gonna do? Inside it we are going to write if else condition if position. Now this position is nothing but this position our current position. Now if position is greater than previous position then do something else do something right. Now guys after the statement we are going to assign previous position equal to current position. Fine because we are done with this current position and we are assigning this previous position to this current position. Now inside the if else condition what we are gonna do if position is greater than previous position then definitely we are going downside which means if we are scrolling down then obviously the current position will be greater than the previous position because suppose this is our current position and this is our previous position then definitely 1 is greater than 0. So in that case what we are gonna do? We are going to call this method animate which is present inside the animation util class. So here let's write our code animation util dot animate. Now as a parameter it requires a view holder class and a boolean value. Now our view holder class is what? This my view holder. So let us type our my view holder comma. Now since we are going down so the boolean value should be true. Now in our else condition animation util we have to pass the false value right here. So let's do one thing control C and control V. Let's make it false. Now let's write a comment statement else we are scrolling down sorry up and here we are scrolling down fine so this is our logical approach and we are sending the parameters my view holder class and this false value and true value to where this animation util dot java now let me explain you guys what codes i have written here now guys this is the codes of android animation. I am going to discuss about the android animation in detail in my separate module. So till then please don't worry about it. It's quite a simple logical approach. 
this is our animator set reference to what this animator set object and here we go we are having the object animator class now this object animator class helps us to animate any kind of object now in our case our object is what holder dot item view which represents what which represents each row this row this row or this row somewhat like this so we are going to animate each item inside our recycler view card view application and if you hit control space it is going to show you what actually we have applied object target which is our row or item then string property name translation y then float values now guys our second parameter which is actually translation y actually tells us what kind of animation you want to apply in which direction so in our case we want to apply it in the y direction this vertical axis so i have written translation y translation means movement so movement in y direction and here i have applied something which is conditional statement this parameter if we are going down then execute this else execute this fine so if we are going down then start the translation from the positive 200 which is actually a float value pixel till where till the original position fine so it is just going to animate either from positive y axis or either from negative y axis till our original position that is the zero which is the origin clear so nothing too complex till now guys now again if this statement is not clear guys then please don't worry about it here we are just checking either we are scrolling up or we are scrolling down if scrolling up then this value else this value and all these value are in pixel values and here we are setting the duration of this animation so while moving from 200 till 0 or minus 200 till 0 what should be the duration of the animation we have specified here in millisecond that is 1000 millisecond equal to 1 second now here animator set dot play animation which is our animation animator translation y now here we go animator set dot start so it is going to start our animation now this animator set guys if we want to apply multiple animation that we have applied here this this is one single animation we can apply as many animation and put it inside the animator set and start the animation so as of now to make the things more simple and more clear I have just used a single animation so at this point of time let's run our application and check what kind of animation effect do we are getting so let's run our application so here we go our application is up and running so let us scroll it yes you can see something is happening between the layouts it is showing some movement while we are scrolling down the elements are smoothly scrolling up and it is coming back to its original position like this now let's change our layout and let's go to staggered view horizontal here we go so awesome animation that we have applied so let us scroll right now again you can see some kind of animation is there awesome animation which is adding so smooth view to our application now guys as i told you this animator set can contain as many animation that we can apply so at the bottom I have written some codes that is presently commented let's do one thing guys cut it and paste it at the top and I will show you few other kinds of animation let's uncomment it so here we go this time what we are doing we are using the object animation for translation X which means we are going to apply animation in the x axis this time now what I'm going to do I'm going to apply the x and y animation at the same time now here if you are mesmerized by these values of float then please don't worry about it it is just giving us zigzag movement of the layouts in the x axis minus 50 to 50 minus 30 to 30 this is the animator set value so please don't worry about it finally we are ending up at the zeroth position now here what we are having animator set dot play together animator translate x this animation 
along with this animation which is animator translate y this animation and the animation duration for both these animation is actually only one second so let us comment this line now animator set the start it is going to start this animator set and play these two animation all together so at this point of time let us run our application and check out so here our application is up and running so let's scroll down here we go you can see something vibration in the x axis it is vibrating and in the y axis it is smoothly scrolling up you can see yeah pretty awesome so let us scroll fast yes now let's go to our staggered horizontal view or any kind of view you can check pretty awesome it is vibrating in the x axis and moving in the y axis like this so in this way guys you can apply animation now guys maybe this time you're not able to understand what i have done here maybe but it's quite a simple thing i'm going to cover android animation in detail in my own style in a separate module so till then guys please don't worry about it you will understand each and every aspect of animation in detail in my upcoming modules so this is all for this video guys in the next video what i'm going to do is to teach you how you can delete an element if you want to delete this parrot item then how you can do it if you want to add one more item here then what you can do it along with animation i will show you in the next video so till then thanks for watching and please write a good review for my videos so meanwhile if you like what you saw please subscribe to this channel and please post a comment below this video and also if you want to download all the codes of the android studio then please check out the link below the video. Thank you.